So, okay, we've seen this. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go down and look at um, multimedia and look at chapter 9. Chapter 9, chain reaction. Here's a chain, chain reaction. To give the example of a mechanism, H2 plus Br2 goes to 2HBr. And this is a mechanism where, first of all, you initiate it. So we initiate, and you initiate either by light or by heat. So when you heat, the first part is there's a certain rate constant. Bromine here breaks up into two atoms. They're two atoms. They're not charged. They're just radicals. And then because there's H2 around, H2 can collide with one of these atoms and form the product. So, so bromine collides with a hydrogen, extracts a hydrogen, and forms a product. And in the process, this propag is propagation. And now the atom could come along and, and hit a bromine molecule, so we have a third rate constant going on in this process. And so this is a forward process that lets H uh, hits Br. And then what happens is that you start to get too much Br around, and you start to get too much H product around. So as the HBr concentration increases, HBr can can go back. It can, it can produce one of the original reactants, H2. And it does this because what happens is I have my HBr molecule, and you have a reverse reaction coming along, which makes it go from H attacking HBr to produce H2, which is the initial product. So this inhibits the reaction. And then you have termination when a third party collision, an example of what happens is that when those come together, they would usually fly apart. But if you have higher concentration and you've got H2 present or some other molecule present, it can come along and it can carry away the excess energy. So what this is is chain reactions are initiated, they propagate, but as the concentration of the products increase, the process can be inhibited and finally it can be terminated and you end up with an equilibrium. So the mechanism is all these different steps that go on. And I don't know if I've got the final formula for Yeah, here's the final formula. You don't want to know this. But here I've got the mechanism for K1, K2, K3, K4, K4, K, I call that K minus 1 because it's going back the other way from this one. So we've got all these rate constants. And when we look at ratio of all these things, that's the rate law that corresponds to it. And of course, you know, you don't memorize this. You don't need to know this. You just want to see that it's not a simple expression like a zero first or second order rate law. And all these constants have to be determined. And they will then give you how fast the HBR is produced from, from formula like this. Okay? So I want you to understand the idea of, of the mechanisms relative to the amount of a one-step process. I won't write down all the steps in, in the collision part. I'll write them in my notes, but uh, we, have, we have chain reactions. And so there's initiation, there's propagation, there's inhibition, and there's termination. And you might have more than one propagation and more than one inhibit, inhibiting process taking place. OK, so, so let's look then, having that introduction, which basically is saying that